It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to another episode of the Mike Prince Show, coming to you each and every day right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Our social media handles for Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is Open Mic Broadcast Network. And our 24-hour dial-in message line is 713-570-6736. And without any further delay, we are going to jump right into today's episode, reminding you that you should encourage someone to subscribe to our YouTube channel today. We're looking for 1,000 subscribers where we can go live on our YouTube channel to help continue spread our daily coverage in the world of high school and collegiate athletics. I sent a tweet out this morning And I'm going to attach it to this show on today for educational purposes only. There are so many things that are moving behind the scene that if you're really not careful, it'll sneak up on you before you know it. You'd be like, where did all this come from? If you guys remember back in... May of 2019, there was a big to do about Fox getting rid of a bunch of their regional sports networks. And with that, it became like a fire sale for other people that wanted to get in the game of sports coverage to get their piece of the American pie. Well, there was a company by the name of Sinclair, which purchased quite a few of these, I believe 22, 26 of these networks. As a result of that, there was another streaming company. Everybody is into cutting the cords, cutting the cords. This company by the name of Fubo, F-U-B-O, They provided an all sports package and you could stream a lot of regional hard to find coverage and a lot of the ESPN package coverage. And as a result, Fubo started counting up the cost, I'm imagining, and realized that it was costing them too much, which was costs they were going to have to pass on to their consumers to keep things competitive. Why am I bringing all this up? Remember the company Sinclair? Sinclair is a subsidiary of the Disney Channel. The Disney Channel are the owners of ESPN and ABC. Going back, jogging your memory just a little bit, if you recall, Disney just launched their streaming package. And they had a mad, crazy number of something like 10 million subscribers over the course of a weekend when they first launched this thing. It's something like eight bucks a month. So you do the math on that. As a result, this Fox package that Fubo was carrying has been dropped as of January 1st, 2020. And once again, the the response was the cost was too much to keep their prices low on Fubo's side of the books. So the price war has begun. Do not be surprised in the very near future if you do not see a Disney slash ESPN package stream. Another point I want you guys to take note of during the course of this football season, you may have heard or seen the commercial where ESPN was making the plea for you all to reach out to your direct TV distributors and say, hey, keep my ESPN because they've been going into a price war. All of it is a setup for Disney slash ESPN slash ABC to take a flight And have it to a point that if you 
want to watch any type of college sports, there's going to be one portal and one portal only. I think the word is called monopoly. I think we have laws that try to prohibit that. I think we might be to the point of having the quote unquote big brother of collegiate sports. Just something to make note of. Football Friday's coming up. Swag basketball play opens up this weekend. And of course, we have the Carlos Brown show featured on Saturday. The Mike Prince show live featured on Sunday. Don't forget to click on the link below to read the story and have a better grasp of what I'm trying to share with you. I'm going to exit stage left for right now. I am the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. And as always, you guys be blessed. And we'll see you on the other side.